Nation. Hope you're having an awesome Monday. My name, of course, is Philip DeFranco, and this is where I talk about newsy type stuff and things that matter to me today. And two quickie updates before we get started. One, thank you for all the love with little Trey DeFranco last week. I was already in the happiest place I've ever been, being a brand new daddy. You guys push it even over the top, so I love your faces. Thank you for that. And two, I found out this morning that uh, even though they were unavailable for a while, there are now tickets left for DeFranco Does LA on May 9th. It's my last West Coast live show for 2014. I'm gonna be bringing Joe Burrell Steve Zaragoza, some other familiar faces that you love. Maybe we'll bring baby DeFranco, though I'm gonna have to find those little baby headphones because the nation gets very loud when we get on stage. But yeah, I know a lot of you were tweeting me that they weren't available. Fixed it. Link in the description down below. Get them while you can. And so from there, I want to jump into the first story of the day today. Oh my god, everyone's freaking out about it. Donald Sterling. If you do not know, Donald Sterling is the owner of the LA Clippers. And for the past few years has uh, sometimes been labeled as a racist, maybe. And all of that became even more apparent thanks to TMZ, who acquired a voice recording of him talking to his girlfriend about him having problems with her, taking pictures with black men, posting them on Instagram because people are gonna talk and maybe think she's black. It's believed that this picture with Magic Johnson is what started the argument. Sterling went on to say he did not want her bringing Magic Johnson or any other black people to the game, that she can love black people, enjoy them in her life, but privately, and that it bothers him a lot. It's painful to him for his girlfriend to not be perceived as Latina or white. If you want to listen to the full uncensored tape, I'm going to link to it down below. And since this news came out, all these celebrities have been teeing off on Sterling. A bunch of current NBA players, you got Michael Jordan, Obama even talked about about it offhand. This guy's being taken to town. Although one of the celebrities that spoke out that really annoyed me was Shaq. Shaq was so offended, but in the same 24 hour news cycle, he was in the news for going on Instagram and making fun of a disabled man. And in the middle of all this, I want to announce our BAMF of the day. The man Shaq was making fun of, Jamel Binion. He suffers from a rare disorder called ectodermal dysplasia, which gives him a reduced ability to sweat, missing teeth, and abnormal hair growth. And he took the shitty situation that was Shaq being an asshole, and he turned it into an anti-bullying campaign called Hug, Don't Judge. So I just wanted to throw that little side note in. And here's the deal, it is not that shocking of a story to me. For me, it's, oh, what? Another old white guy is racist? What? That's crazy. And there is some shake my head shame that goes along with every white guy that is racist in the news, because we're like, ah, oh, we came so far. Kind of like when you're a feminist and then you see a story about how a woman cried rape and nothing actually happened. Or if you're insert ethnicity and you see your same ethnicity on world star hip hop doing something that's, uh, world star hip hoppy. But because this is in the news, let's take a moment to have a brief dialogue on this. I imagine that if you're watching this show, you're at the very least a semi-decent, somewhat competent person. We all know that being racist is wrong, like judging someone because of their skin color is wrong, because it is inherently ignorant. I hate some white people more than some black people. I hate some black people more than white people. Being a shitty human being is not exclusive to any race. I try to be all about the love, but I still hate people. I just try to make it that when I hate someone, it's for reasons, like for their actions that have hurt other people. So I guess point one here, racism and racists are stupid and I hate you. And point two, as the shitty person but fantastic philosopher Chris Brown once said, these hoes ain't loyal. Donald Sterling, while a possible racist, was 100% set up by his girlfriend. One, who do you think recorded it? Two, she knew exactly how to pull his strings. And three, how do you think the media got a hold of this recording? Stiviano's lawyers have said that they can confirm that the recording is real, but she did not send it in, which is a very specific thing to say, and whenever lawyers get very specific, it's usually because she probably gave it to someone else and then that person did it. Potentially. Also, there have been reports that there's tons and tons of recordings that could be released at any time, so I imagine girlfriends, soon to be ex-girlfriends, probably gonna get a payday. Because the main thing is when you look like him and she looks like her, that relationship will not end well. Best case scenario, she's using you as a sugar daddy. Worst case scenario, she's gonna take half your money or she's gonna end up in the trunk of a car. And so the main things we get for from this story. One, racism is stupid and I hate you if you're racist. Two, you can't trust these hoes. And three, world star hip hoppy is now a word according to me. And from that craziness, I wanna share some of the stuff I love today and today in awesome 
sponsored by Squarespace.com. Squarespace, of course, the fantastic all-in-one platform that makes it so easy to make a professional website, online store, portfolio. I personally use it at philipdefranco.squarespace.com where I feature my photography. We just uploaded a bunch of behind-the-scenes pictures of Defranco Does Vancouver. Plans start as cheap as $8 a month. You get a free domain name if you go for a year. And you can start a trial today. No credit card required. Use squarespace.com slash fill and it'll give you 10% off. It's just easy, beautiful, and you should check it out. And the first bit of awesome is John Oliver, or I guess not specifically John Oliver, although he is awesome, but John Oliver's new show, Last Week Tonight. If you don't know John Oliver, a fantastic comedian in his own right, he took over for Jon Stewart when he was gone for a bit, and now he has his own show on HBO, which, because HBO is awesome, decided to put up on YouTube, which is available now. So, if you like news in an interesting manner, which if you're watching me, I imagine you would, you gotta check it out. Then there was an awesome video, thanks to Google, where they showcased how exactly the Google self-driving cars work. It's amazing, it involves a bunch of stuff I wouldn't have even thought of, like bicyclists raising their hands and the cars having to be aware. So if you want to see what our future overlords are up to, there's a video of that. Then one of the best YouTube channels out there right now, Minute Physics, put up this really cool video. It's called How to See Without Glasses. They actually teach you a trick, although I'm still glad I bought these because I wouldn't be able to do the trick that they use all the time. And then there's this other awesome YouTube video called Living with Lag, where they pair an Oculus Rift, I think it's like a Logitech webcam and a Raspberry Pi. And if you were ever streaming video or you're playing video games, you know how much lag sucks. So some people decide to experiment what would life be like if everything was a little lag. And it's kind of awesome how debilitating it is. And the last bit of awesome we have today is from the Calgary Expo. There was amazing cosplay. And not just of the busty kind, although we do not dislike the busty kind. So we included both, made an awesome gallery that you can check out in the links down below, along with everything else I talked about today. And that's actually the last thing I want to talk about today. I have to leave from here to go to my first doctor's appointment with my little baby and to announce for the next few weeks that the PDS will be on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but not Thursday. The vlog, though, will continue to be four to five days a week on youtube.com slash phillyd, and that's all because that takes no time because it's me just carrying around a camera, and I want to give myself more time to be home and take care of the baby. So that'll be it for this Monday PDS, and I'd love to know what you think about anything we talked about today, but it does bring us to the big question of the day. What do you think should happen with Donald Sterling? Should he be fine, suspended, stripped of his team somehow? Or does he not deserve anything? If he does not get punished, do you think there will be ramifications elsewhere? And just generally, I'd love to know your thoughts on the situation. Let me know in the comments down below. And remember to possibly get a $100 Amazon gift card. Just leave that comment down below. Maybe while you're at it, hit the like button, favorite, share. And thanks again to the sponsor of today's show, squarespace.com slash phil. But of course, as always, my name's Philip DeFranco. You've just been filled in. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow, unless I die from sleep deprivation, although I hear that takes a really, really long time.